Hi, I'm Dr. Landon Trost, and I'm an andrologist specializing in Peyronie's disease and male infertility. This video specifically explains the reasons why I developed a Restorix device during my time as the head of andrology at Mayo Clinic and in cooperation with Mayo Clinic Ventures and Pathright Medical. I also wanted to highlight reasons why I think this device will help to address common issues that we see with Peyronie's disease. Well, first off, I'm a strong believer in traction therapy. There are many, many examples throughout the body where traction clearly improves an underlying deformity, such as braces to correct misaligned teeth, external fixators for correcting scoliosis or limb contractures, and many more. The nice thing about traction is it's relatively cheap, you can do the treatments in your own home, you can treat as needed, and you don't get long-term permanent consequences that sometimes you can get with surgery. It's also one of the only therapies that can legitimately restore lost penile length. For these reasons, I've routinely recommended traction to multiple groups of patients, including those with Peyronie's disease, those undergoing surgery to place a penile prosthesis, following prostatectomy to help with penile length, or other conditions where men had lost length due to some disease. Patients would then buy one of several different devices available in the market and sold on the internet, and I started to track outcomes data. Unfortunately, the results weren't as good as I'd expected and was really hoping that patients would be able to achieve. In addition to not achieving the desired outcome, patients would often complain about several aspects of devices, including pinching of the penile skin, uh, lack of any real traction, uh, devices actually falling apart, hearing an embarrassing cork popping sound as the device which was holding the head of the penis would slip off, needing to wear it for nine plus hours a day, uh, needing what seemed to be three hands to be able to place the device and, and many more complaints. In addition, results from our studies were also showing that existing devices were not doing a very good job at, at achieving the underlying goals. Now here I'm showing one of the graphs from one of our publications that showed even after extended use, uh, the existing traction devices didn't seem to make any difference at all on curvature. You can see some of these patients even used it for hundreds of hours and still didn't see any greater improvements compared to those who didn't use it at all. We also found that as time went on, people began to use less and less of the devices, and we found it nearly impossible to get people to use these devices for five plus hours a day. Well, after reviewing our data, I realized that we needed to develop something better than was currently available. In designing the Restorex device, we purposefully included several specific features to address some of these problems. To fix the issue of painful clamps, we tried to mimic the same type of action that you get when you hold the head of the penis by hand to stretch and bend uh, to, in order to correct curvature. Now we spent a lot of time trying to get this just right, including the optimal angles as well as the size and shape of the opening. We wanted to make sure that you could clamp the penis firmly while still making it comfortable. Now you can see from an in-clinic quality improvement study that we did, that zero out of 15 patients reported any pain with just wearing the clamp alone. And when we applied traction, people used about five pounds of force comfortably. We did find that most men preferred to have some sort of wrap, and this is why we include the self-adherent penile wrap with the kit itself. But since then, we've also heard from patients that the use of makeup pads applied to the inner clamp surface can improve comfort even further. Also from that early study, we found that 100% of patients preferred Restorex to other devices they tried. When you look at the graph on the right, you can see that when we asked people specifically to compare the comfort of this clamp and device to other ones, 25% said that Restorex was somewhat better, while 75% felt that it was much better. One other problem we ran into with existing devices was that they simply just didn't provide enough traction to be of any use. Also, patients constantly wanted to know if they were using it right and getting enough traction. Existing devices required the user to add rods while wearing the device uh, to lengthen it before attaching. Now this seemed to be nearly impossible as it required three hands to secure the penis and if additional stretch were required, you'd have to take the device completely off and add additional rods. Also, the devices were only able to give about a half an inch of actual stretch, making it nearly impossible to provide continuous traction. Other devices used a suction cup to hold the penis, and this would often slip off with traction or when the penis was moved in a particular direction. To fix these problems, we created a ratcheting type system that allows the user the ability to provide additional traction while the device remains in place. 
What we found was that within a few minutes of use, the penis would often stretch, and we immediately had the opportunity to easily advance the device further to get more traction. Now this is not an option with any other device, and probably helps explain why the existing systems need to be used for nine hours in contrast to the 30 minutes twice daily with RestoreX. A third major issue with existing devices is that they weren't developed with Peroni's disease specifically in mind. With Peroni's disease, we know that ideally, we want to be able to apply stretch focus specifically to the diseased area. This has been shown with other treatments as well, such as Zyaflex. For example, in one of the phase two clinical FDA studies, the results show that Zyaflex treatment alone without counter traction, or what was called manual modeling, resulted in no improvements. But when stretching was combined with Zyaflex, statistically significant improvements were achieved. Now current devices basically only offer traction in one direction. Uh, the, Re the RestoreX device in contrast was designed with Peroni's disease specifically in mind and has the ability to bend the penis in the opposite direction of the curvature. Now this allows a greater amount of force to be applied to the area where the disease is actually present. It also allows you the ability to personalize your specific treatment to stretch the specific areas that need to be stretched. The device can be changed to provide bending in the up, down, left, or right directions, and the clamp can be adjusted so that you can apply bend to the base, middle, or end of the penis. Soon after creating the device, we performed several studies in men with Peroni's disease to see if it truly improved symptoms. In our first randomized controlled trial, we assigned men to either treatment with RestoreX or no treatment for a period of three months. At the end of three months, 94% of men who were assigned to RestoreX experienced an average of 1.6 centimeters length increase, and three quarters of the men had an average of 17 degrees of curve improvement. So in this study, we confirmed that the counter bending was indeed a critical component of the device and was associated with greater curve improvements compared to those who did not use that feature. We also did a study comparing outcomes of men with Peroni's disease who either did Zyaflex alone, Zyaflex and any other traction device, or Zyaflex with RestoreX. You can see from this figure that men who were treated with Zyaflex and RestoreX had greater length and curve improvements compared to other traction devices or Zyaflex alone. Similarly, men were four times more likely to get a 50% or greater curve improvement compared to other devices. So in summary, Peroni's disease is a very difficult condition that can have significant effects on men including with their relationships and on their overall confidence. Traction therapy is one potential treatment which is commonly used and which offers several benefits including ease of use, few side effects, and proven efficacy with Peroni's disease, as well as other conditions in the body. Now since existing devices were not designed specifically with Peroni's disease in mind and have several major shortcomings, we sought to develop a better solution. In contrast to other options, the RestoreX device has several notable features including the ability to comfortably secure the penis, provide sufficient traction, give user feedback on how traction is appropriate, allow the user to individualize maximal treatment zones, deliver counting branding forces, and only requires two 30-minute sessions rather than nine plus hours daily. So with that, I thank you very much for your time and hope that this has been helpful.